on to compound for the first map here of this best of three. And yeah, we already saw this earlier on. The compound did go the way of Lazarus. Let's see who takes this one. Yeah, Alucard took a little bit of damage there through the box, but nothing to sing home about. So he's still relatively healthy. He's just going to try and hold this angle from the cubicles. And uh, Smoke is going to uh, you know, make it a little bit more difficult to get that vision he needs. Now, GV just holding that center, making sure that they have options available to them because they might want to go for A. They might want to go for B. They're just going to feel it out. Alucard, though, looking to maybe try and ruin the day of a couple of GV players. Sitting around the corner, Penguin sitting next to the smoke. Also looking to double down on that. And both teams now taking a slow. Mr. Grenade there did awesome, and that's going to make it a little bit uncomfortable for GV as Hunt through the smoke gets snocks as Penguin picks up a big double kill against the awesome and Creed's making a triple against FaZe and this is all going 3BL's way but 7 last man standing is going to try to perform a miracle he doesn't have the C4 it is currently sitting on the feet of the rest of 3BL yeah, Penguin's just going to swing on him, too. He's not even going to wait. And that is maybe going to come back to bite him because Seven will take him out as those two were, of course, going back and forth in the in the trash talk as well. And uh, Seven going to get the first blow on to Penguin, although Penguin did get the first blow onto his team. GV, that is. So let's see where Seven does decide to go. He's going all the way around behind them. See yeah, if this works out. It, it might actually, because he might catch him unaware. Finally, Horus decides to take a peek over towards that back door, but they're not looking, and he's going to pop out. He doesn't get Horus. Horus is just a bit better at the trigger discipline there. As 3BL, they take the first round of set one. Yeah, nice first round as well. Just reading the pressure, gets in position, shuts it down entirely. Nice spray control from Penguin and the guys. That were right there as Snock's gonna take a big bit of damage. Big chunk. A big tank. chunk. Well, they are gonna look to maybe rotate into double pillars, but again, just holding this central area, giving themselves all the options they need to try and break 3BL. Now they did break 3BL a little bit last time round, but unfortunately, you know, the, the dominoes fell. And uh, GV ended up only having seven remaining. They don't want a repeat of that this time round. So they are going to be creeping up through the center grenades coming in. Just applying a little bit of utility pressure as they do make their way forward. And they are going to be looking. Don't know. They're going to be rotating over towards B. And they're going to have a bit of an issue here as they're going to run into Thompson who gets one. Awesome. And seven, they grabbed kills for themselves. Tutson is down. Horus is down. The C4 is also down as Hunt picks up Snox on the back. It's a 3v3. Hunt is on the hunt here, looking to get through these doors. They've got to break the pit. And that is going to be quite a tricky thing. FaZe is also camped up on the side of this door. So when the breach comes in, FaZe is going to be able to just spray down through the box, through the smoke. But he goes down. Penguin gets FaZe. Awesome. From the pit, gets Penguin and Awesome makes it a double on Hunt. And Alucard goes down as well. Awesome with a big, big triple kill. And GV pull one back as well. And uh, this is looking like an absolute contest between two juggernauts. Yeah, Awesome coming up big there. And that's what they need from this rifler. He's been so consistent over the regular season. And they need him to show up big in the regional finals as well. You know what I think uh, 3BL should have done is they should have uh, just let Alucard go 1v3. So the other two guys just kind of run in. <laughs> well, you know, it could happen <laughs> again as Snox and Creed's. They take out Hunt and Penguin, and Alucard is getting close to his trigger point where he's the last man against three. But GV, they are holding this relatively well. Creed's is kind of low, so he is going to probably be the oh, sacrificial lamb. Yeah. As we are on board with Horus, who is... Uh, Going deep down through double pillars, he's going to be on an adventure of his own. Is he going to be able to get a wraparound? He, he's thinking about it. He does peek around the corner and does turn back around to, you know, once again, check out double pillars in case there was a rotation through that center passage. But, uh, yeah. Hey, he's going to be able to cover a lot of the entry points into B uh, through that. 
Whereas Totsen's going to be looking in through mid, but he takes a bit of damage, so he's going to have to back away for now. And Horus might be able to get the drop here on the greens. Yeah, there you go. Free kill for him. And that's why this spot can be so nice, so cozy, because it's very difficult to push into that. And you can see both angles as now they're going to move in through mid to B, perhaps. Yeah, B is very undefended. And they are going to be able to take it relatively easily. We do have Horus making his way around, but they are now in the pit, and the C4 is going to go down. Awesome and Seven need to set up correctly. FaZe is also there. He's uh, cooking a grenade, throws it at the door just to give a little bit of cover, a little bit of smoke as Horus looks to go through this window. He's looking to check every corner to see no one else is going to wrap around through double pillars, but he already cleared that section, so just buying time, waiting to you know, pincer into here, but oh, Awesome gets through the smoke, he gets Totsen down, Alucard gets face, Horus gets seven round the back, Awesome takes down Alucard, and Awesome from the pit, shoots up towards Horus, and GV get another win on the board, they are now 2-1 up. Okay, let's get it on. Yeah, it does feel like they are relying on Awesome's incredible plays so far, three kills in three rounds, or seven kills in three rounds. Um, it's been really, really nice, it's only gone down once, the rest of the team should be there to back him up as these rounds have been close. And now GV look, going to look to push in as Horus with the counter aggression, trying to spray more down, but nobody else was there. And immediately just gets sniped down, but advantage here to 3BL. Yeah, 3BL do get an advantage. Totsen from the top of the box, he's gonna lay a couple of attacks on. He actually gets phase instead of awesome, who he was aiming at. And Seven is down there as well. Awesome breaches through the corner, grenade is cooked. Pistols are out. Totsen does have time to reload. He's going to get a little bit of time and is supported here by Alucard. A seven gets Totsen with the sniper. Awesome is down and it's a 3v1. Seven is all alone and the pressure is on. The C4 is currently being cooked by Penguin and 3BL draw us back two to two. Yeah, I mean, the second Totsen held that angle, and he took no damage for almost the entire time. I mean, Awesome and FaZe, neither of them were able to do anything to him. So he just held that angle, kept them corralled in. As Snox, once again, going to take a bit of damage there. And just Totsen holding the line, essentially, for the team, giving chance for his team to catch up and eventually slowly pick them apart. So a very close match so far, 2-2. Two two. Absolutely. Close, and we can see that GV shaking things up a little bit. They're not as deep down on that central plaza up towards the A and B side. They're just going to leave phase in the tower, and then he's going to rotate back, maybe looking towards B right now. It, it seems that might be where they're going to go if they do push into this middle section. But I mean, 3BL is set up very defensively this time three on A, two on B and they're just going to be able to rotate between the two relatively safely as grenades continue to fly, spending all the utilities of both teams. And uh, will the push come soon? Will the push come to shove? Well, the shove is looking like it's on the cards, and it is going to be a B-shove as Creed is making his way or around. He is going to find Hunt. Oh, yeah, he is. Creed's makes it, but Penguin gets down, snuffs phase, gets to make, oh, no, nope, Awesome gets to, and uh, Creed picks up Tutson, Horus gets Creed's, and it's a 3v1, Horus has a lot to do, all on his own, and the bomb is planted on that A side, so he does know he is going to poke up, it's going to come around here, he's going to have to retake this, he doesn't know where they are, he has no information, seven, and phase, they're outside, actually everyone's outside, he might be able to get a ninja, yeah, now it's an A-long plant, and they're just ready and waiting. If he even tries to go in and tap that, this is going to be very difficult for Horus. He just has to go out guns blazing, and awesome, just going to headshot him down. This guy is so on fire. He's got eight headshots and ten kills, and nobody can really stop him except for that one round where Totsum had him corralled. But other than that, it has been the awesome show so far. Yeah, ten and two, and we're... Uh into the fifth round here. So yeah, we are just gonna have to uh, take a a quick reset on this one by the looks of things, because we are on board with your cameras. Well, is this, uh, is this how we thought this was gonna go?
Did we think that? GB I wasn't would really be... sure what to expect, to be yeah. honest. It, it's just pretty difficult. Like, yeah, three BL looked pretty good against LCK, but they also dropped a map to LCK and GV. I, I don't think they were playing their best game yesterday, but it depended on how they were going to look uh, against three BL here to start. And so far, they look great. I, I think that this GV is much better than what we saw from yesterday, and. Given that, I'd give them the slight advantage so far, not just in the rounds, obviously, but just in the way that the uh, the games have been going, the rounds have been going in their favor. So mm. let's see if they can keep it up. I think, you know, if Awesome keeps his level of play up and the rest of the team can kind of come in to support and play at a similar level, they should be able to take it down. Definitely 3BL are looking good, but they're not... They haven't been able to eke out an advantage yet against GV. So just to confirm, it is 3-2. GV took the last round for themselves. And they are on that blacklist side. So where are we going this time? Grenades flying through double pillars. And it's a pretty heavy committal on the side of GV into that double pillars area. And there isn't much in the way of resistance so far to 3BL Horse. He's gonna peek through this window, maybe try and get a couple of tags here and there if he finds the opportunity, but no, GV have decided to pull out of double pillars and rotate back in towards this central area. Yeah, last time around, Horus actually pushed through smoke into them as they were rotating out and caught one member. Um, but this time, He's just sitting back on his hind legs. He's not going to get as much information. Also, Seven is going to hang back there in double pillars, fire a couple of shots. You know, maybe have them considering whether or not this push will actually come into B. But as we know, they're actually making a push into a room at this point in time. Yep. Nobody's here, though. Again, all alone. And they're a little bit uh, confused by the look of it. Like, where where is everyone? <laughs> Sitting back. Uh, yeah, we, we were expecting people to be here, and there's no one here. Horus is still holding that B side. He's still keeping his eyes on double pillars. And so seven. So they're going to collide eventually. I would think there's more grenades coming through the center, just blocking off the visual uh, lines there. And uh, it does look as though it is the target. They are very uh, committed over on this side right now. Yeah, I mean, four guys, seven generally playing the offside, kind of like the way that Niels used to play. Mm -hmm. Kind of just sit back, IGL the team, he'll he'll cover the off angle and let the rest of the team kind of push in as they are. All four of them through A long. Yeah, well, Penguin's going to find a whole lot of pain coming soon as the breach is coming. And is he going to be able to be good? He is. He gets one. He gets two. Does go down to Snox and Alucard is taken out from the window by Faye. C4 is planted and Ain is now the go sign. We see seven rotating down through center and is going to try to make his way back to support his team. But Hunt is good on Snox and he's now going to hunt there. Faye gets one but cannot make it two as Horus takes him out. Seven has quite a bit of work to do. He has to get that one. He has to get the next and He stops the defuse but cannot hold long enough against Hudson. The defuse comes in, 3BL, they take it, and uh, I think that ties us up. Yeah, 3-3 three three in the scoreline now as 3BL. Initially, their defense of that site was not great. Actually, phase winning that sniper battle uh, against Alucard in the window was really fantastic for their chances of uh, actually keeping that one, but uh, with Snox on the... Uh, on the site, he wasn't able to really get any damage done. He just went down for free, and one by one, the dominoes fell. It looks like they're on the side of GV. So nice retake there from the side of 3BL. Yeah, and uh, opening exchanges on this map, Creed's and Faze just kind of sat on those uh, grenades coming in, and they've taken quite a bit of damage for cheap, and nothing has been done on the side of 3BL, everyone is still very, very healthy. So we might see GB play a little bit defensive as uh, Hunt throws out a flash to cover his retreat from that forward position. And Snox and Creed looking to try and land some grenades at his toes. He gets one. Can he make it two? That would be really nice as Alakar goes down in the back. Snox takes him out as Hunt does make it two, but Snox 
makes it two for himself. He gets hunts down, and then he gets a triple against Penguin. Snox is now stepping up to the plate. Four and one since the remake. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Got to hand it to Hunt for holding his own. They knew exactly where he was, and the rest of the team was there to support him. Alucard taking some bullets for the team, and he actually picked up two kills. But then Snox, as you mentioned, able to bring it back for the side of GV as now they're rotating fully over to B. They have the man advantage, and they just know that 3BL isn't going to have much defense on this site. Yeah, but the thing about uh, this B side is once you're in the pit, it is really hard to get someone out of there. And we can see Totten and Horus, they cleaning it up. And Horus from the bottom of the pit gets two. Totten gets one and 3BL. They get another win in their pockets. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Able to get Totten over there in time, right, as the push was coming in. And that was really the crux of it. Horus getting that first kill as well. They have no idea where he was, so the entry not that clean the side of GB, perhaps a little bit rushed. Wasn't sure if they use much utility either, so kind of just drive moving in onto the B side. It's just not working, it's not work out for them. And now, being stopped a couple of times in a row, I want to see, again, you know, yesterday it was a little bit iffy once they got behind LCK. I was like, these guys are better than this, but it yeah. just doesn't seem like they have the confidence moving forward as a team to actually get the job done. So I want to see them kind of shore that up here today. Well, they definitely have done so, so far, but they are down one round. They have to come back in this one, and they are looking to just smoke out and grenade those uh, visual angles, those lines give themselves a little bit of cover as they look to possibly breach a grenades coming in and they are breaching through the door hunt gets one he makes it two before awesome takes him down awesome poking through nicely done pokes out through the door gets a double kill and uh is taken out by horus but seven and phase they get two of their own tots and last man standing against phase and seven who are setting themselves up for that plant, as Tussin looks to uh, peek through and break this section. And Seven sees him coming in, Faye sees him as well, and now he's in a rock and a hard place because Tutson needs to get a kill and he cannot do it. Seven jumps up over the top and brings one back for GV. Yeah, really good timing there, the two of them peeking at the same time. To take care of Tutson, just get a little scowl there. Uh, from phase, but yeah, get the job done. And they were able to hold on to that site just barely. This one is such a close contest between these two teams as GV once again will tie it up and it will be five to four at the half. And I mean, let's see how this one is gonna go. Interestingly enough, Alucard has been a little bit quiet in the first half of this one. Perhaps not enough uh, outman situations for him. Yeah, it's uh, been a bit uh, suppressed, I would say. I think it's uh, good by GV to constantly take him off the map and make him a little bit irrelevant in the flow of this map. So they've been doing a good job of nullifying him. They've also done a pretty good job of nullifying um, Penguin as well, who you know, generally can shine, but hasn't been shining so far today. But, you know, when one doesn't shine, one doesn't. Hunt is doing fantastic right now, and so is Horus. Yeah. Holding down the fort. There's two riflers. Just getting them across the line as here comes GV pushing in through mid. Similar strategy in through mid into the spawn, but instead they get the pick and they just go straight onto the site. They know it should be open. With only Alucard up here in the window as FaZe once again gonna win the sniper battle. And that should be free sight here to GV. Yeah, so they get the C they get the C4 down. And now they have the Zangles hunt. Gets one. Can he make it two? He cannot. Morris is down as well. Totson, last man standing. Gets one, gets two. Can he make it three and four? It's awesome and seven remaining, and he has about 20 seconds remaining. 15 if you include defusing the bomb. So he has to make it work. He doesn't get it done. Seven nails that headshot. And GV get another win to put their noses in front at the end of the first half. Yeah, really nicely done. Uh, aggressive plays straight from Central Plaza onto A. GV 
once again showcasing that I, I think part of the reason why these guys are so good in like playoff scenarios and stuff is they have so many different strategies in their arsenal. They're not scared to do crazy things or really passive things. You never really know what to expect from them. They're a very versatile team with uh, pretty much every player able to fulfill any role. So, um, you know, that time it didn't seem like they were quite ready for that. There wasn't much of a stack in uh, the spawn or on the A site, kind of leaving Alucard alone, and then he got sniped, and he's not having a big pop-off moment either on this map. So GV definitely in control of the flow, I would say, with the last couple of rounds going their way. Yeah, so we're going to have to see what the second half will bring. We'll be in and around the map relatively soon. Um, 3BL, though, they're looking good, right? They're looking good for their money. They're just getting pipped at the post. It's it's very close between these two teams. So it's it's one getting slightly in front of the other at the first half, but anything can happen when we swap sides, and it will be 3BL on that blacklist side, and it will be GV on the global risk side. So let's see how it plays out when they swap. Will we see GV control this one? They are on the defensive side, but we have seen them push pretty deep down into Central Plaza, and that looks as though that's what's coming this time around. All the grenades come in. They go deep just to get a bit of extra range, but uh, the damage from those grenades was uh, pretty... Pretty useless. About three, maybe? maybe. Onto Penguin. Maybe oh, you being generous scratch. with three. Yeah, it might be two. No, I think it's three or four. Either way, not going to matter too much, and that's four grenades down, but pretty common to see this on compounds. And GV immediately go for a pretty nice B-side stack, giving, you know, a bit of minimal coverage here in the middle of the map with just one guy, phase taking a look at A-Long just in case. Not a very common uh, place to push A-Long from the blacklist side, so I, I think this is a pretty nice way to start off. Expecting a push in here, and they will get it, it looks like, from 3BL. Yes, yeah, seven staying perfectly still in that corner. Awesome creeping forward. And they are going to be able to collapse in as Creed seems to be the one to give away the position. As seven shoots from the window, he gets one. Creed actually gets the two, but then does go down to hunt seven. Still standing, assisting his brother in arms there as they get two big pickups. Penguin and Horus are down. And only lost Creed's in exchange. Yeah, Hunt is going to slowly pretend as if he has left, but he has not. Try to go in here on a little lone wolf mission. He's going to spot seven, but goes down to him. Not a very common result, I would say, but it is the one we do get. A seven seeming to have a pretty good day out himself as well, which is not even necessarily what you require from him. You know, he's... Generally, the ideal. And uh, as I say that, you know, a little caster curse. Get some compliments. Immediately goes down 3BL, trying to make a move here onto A. But now just left with Alucard in his comfort zone, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. But the C4 goes down. He is in the pit, which does make it a little bit uh, difficult to utilize the sniper. As I say that, he gets phased. Is he going to get snuffed? He just about misses that. Does get the reload and doesn't manage to tech yet. Alucard looking, dancing around, trying to get anything done. Can he get it done? No, he cannot. As Snox does nail it with the pistol. Alucard goes down. And uh, GV, they pick up where they left off from that first half and get the first win. All right, so no comfort zone there for Alucard. It's just Snox who has been having a nice day himself. Able to get that clutch there right at the end after a nice flick from Alucard. But, uh, you know, he got the revenge against a sniper opponent, but that's about it. As here's Creed's just running at them. And we'll get a nice pick on Penguin and Hunt trying to just make that escape a little bit tricky. But, uh, yeah, he, he does get out relatively safely and makes his way back to A, where he's just going to hold an angle. And seven looking to get something done here in central. 
He's just holding this position to make it a difficult rotation because 3BL, they have generally rotated down towards double pillars from that location. And it looks as though that's what's going to happen. But Seven poked out at the wrong time and Alicard punishes him for it. Yeah, it didn't take much time. <laughs> just trying to get some information, trying to poke his head out, see, you know, what the weather was like. And unfortunately, it wasn't very friendly as this bomb is way back there, so it doesn't look like 3VL are going to push uh, very swiftly, although they do have a couple of guys moving into double pillars for now. Hunt looks like he will go back and pick that up and rotate on over. 4v4, pretty interesting on this map. You don't get to cover every single angle from the GR side, so it can get a bit tricky. Mm -hmm. Well, we have FaZe pushing down. Now towards that double pillar, it's just going to hold the corner where Horus might actually try to push through. Is he going to? Is he going to push? He's dancing around the pillar. Alucard is in support, so he's going to creep through. Phase has to try and get it done. Does he know they're there? They're hiding behind that pillar. Out. Phase gives away his position, and they instantly try to capitalize. But Phase gets one. Can he make it two? No, he cannot. Hunt does take him down. He was running out there with his knife, ran out of bullets in his pistol. But now they know exactly where they are, and it's not a lot of time. As Snox in the servers, not able to get that shot down, though. It's going to be up to Awesome, try to buy enough time. He gets the one kill. There's only seven seconds left. They don't have the bomb. He's just buying time, trying not to go down, and he will be taken out with three seconds left. They did not have to plan to just take him out. One headshot from the pistol of Alucard is enough. And that it is. It's one to one in the half. Six, five overall. GV with the narrowest of leads. As it looks as though we might have be uh, getting some double pillars engagements coming in. Seven does go down, actually. Hunt instantly deletes him out of the board phase. Trying to do what he can with a shotgun. Doesn't get anything done. And Penguin takes him out there. Nice try. Didn't quite work out. Penguin gets Creed's as well. And uh, it's all going wrong for GV this time out. But Snox isn't getting the memo. He takes down Penguin. He has a few more to go before he can bring home the victory for his team. And that's another. Hunt goes down as well. And now it's a 2v3. Man, it really does feel like a lot of the players right now are playing at their best. As Awesome is going to get... Uh, kind of a jump scare there. It looks like he had no idea uh, that Totsin was in that corner, and Snox only one left. Alucard just up in the watchtower will take him down and tie things up at six apiece. At this point, I have no idea who's going to win. I mean, no. both of these teams are really playing so, so well right now and matching each other. It's becoming a, a very close affair as Thompson is going to poke out and a big spray right down the middle. Gets three headshots and GV have no chance. Yeah, they have to defend this with just two. Snox and FaZe going to try to do what they can, but a big push through double pillars, a collapse into B is very, very likely and it is very, very unlikely that Snox and FaZe can stop this coming in. The site has been taken. The bomb has been planted. Just like that, it's looking difficult, though. Yeah, it's all over. Snox goes down to Penguin. Face did get Penguin, but Hunt was in support. 3BL take another win, and that's three in a row. Yeah, three swift rounds going in their favor, especially that last one as GV looks like having a little disconnect. And, yeah, I think... You know, it's it's fine to go in and challenge them in mid. It has worked in the past for GV, but uh, got to be careful about it, the exact timing of it because, um, you know, it, you want to run through the smoke. You want to get your grenades down. Maybe you even want to attack into a upper, but um, if you mess up the timing yeah. is what I was looking for. If you're running out at exactly the wrong time, you're just going to get sprayed down and you're, you're, you can't really retaliate because you're running away. So yeah. kind of have to be very crisp with that timing or either commit into, you know, either beside uh, behind the container or into double pillars or something. Otherwise, you're just going to get gunned down like that. Yeah, I mean, both teams playing pretty standardly on this map, I would say, and no one's really pulling out those pocket strats just yet. 
The team that does need to pull out a pocket strat is GV. They mm -hmm. really, really need this win on this map. Because if they don't get it, they're looking at crashing out of this tournament. Yeah. Um, you know, win the season and then come to the regional finals. And, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a curse for them. And they're not out of it yet, as you mentioned. They do need to get this win. But, yeah, we do worry for them at yeah. times, especially after kind of getting rolled in the last three rounds. Uh, over on that B site and then over in Central Plaza has been all 3BL for the last three. And, yeah, I, I think, you know, both these sides, they have a lot to play for 3BL. They want to go back. They want to uh, show that they can do it this time at the Grand Finals. They want to be one of the representatives, of course, and they have the talent to do it. And uh, GV just, you know, very unfortunate about that loss yesterday, I think, to LCK. Yeah. That one was... Uh, Maybe taking them a little bit too lightly, LCK overperforming, GV not really showing their best stuff, and then all of a sudden you're in danger just from that one best of three. Yeah, it could have been that they were, you know, hiding a couple of strats because they didn't think LCK deserved blowing yep. all their strats. And, yeah, under underestimating your opponent is an easy way to lose, right? It doesn't matter whether it's, you know, Tyson versus... yeah. Tyson versus Logan Paul or something like that. You know, it, it doesn't. If Tyson yeah. underestimated Logan Paul, Logan Paul could still pull it out. But yeah, you, yeah. Gotta, you got a couple of shots in, and all of a sudden the game changes. Yeah, sometimes all it takes is a lucky jab. Yeah, I don't know if it was Tyson, was it Muhammad Ali that said, you know, you can have a plan, but then you get punched in the face, and all of a sudden <laughs> every every everyone has a plan yeah. until they get punched in the face. I think it was Tyson actually. Yeah, it was it was definitely one of those two, but. Essentially, maybe that's what happened to GV yesterday. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, wait, wait, we're losing? What? How did that happen? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, sudden your plan goes out the window yeah. after LCK throw a couple of good swings. So, yeah, this one is very even. But again, you know, in terms of the numbers, yeah, like it's seven to six at this point, but three in a row to the side three BL really uh, tells yeah. the story of the last. Especially bit. when you swap sides not too long ago, then you get three and three on the bounce, and yeah, it's showing that this side is your side. And was it Blacklist that was particularly weak on GV side, or was it Global Risk? I can't remember. One of them was like thirty something percent. All right, I think it was Global Risk. Was it Global Risk? Yeah, Global Risk was not their strongest point. Mm. So we're gonna have to see if they can overcome that. Deficit. Now we're just waiting for the players to uh, come back. There's a slight issue. So, yeah, we're just waiting on that. Just in case you were wondering why you get to see our lovely faces halfway through compound. Yeah. Oh, we're going to start playing, actually. Um, oh, no, no. Live action <laughs> crossfire <laughs> <laughs> acting here right in front of this uh, great logo. Yeah. No, uh, they've reloaded back in and uh, we should be in the game in just I, a moment. I think I'd be a pretty bad character model because I'm, you know, I'm big. Yeah. Very easy to hit. A little bit I th too I think, large. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think hitting you would be like trying to hit a lamppost. You know, it's a, yeah. a little bit difficult. But for me, you know, large center of mass, um, pretty easy yeah. to take down, you know. It's good. I think you The bigger, me. the better, yeah. you know. Uh, well, I mean, not if you're a character model. <laughs> True. Get well, shot in center mass, but that could be literally like yeah. from here to the end of compound. Like I guess Crossfire isn't exactly situated in Texas, so it doesn't quite uh, work out that way. <laughs> We're bigger is always better. But, uh, you know, Crossfire is uh, oh. very special. Oh, that would be in, a, in its own right. That would be a fantastic mode, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, crossfire, <laughs> crossfire Texas mode. Um, yeah. Our <laughs> Well, here we go. We're back in the game. Uh, 3BL, of course, three round wins in a row. GV Esports went up to 6-4 and four, uh, right after the half, but then 3BL immediately swung it back into their favor. And I think, you know, this is one of these maps where in the past it felt like a lot of teams thought this was very GR favored, but slowly over time, as you begin to figure out all the different angles you can abuse on this map, it can... Uh, Definitely get a little bit more favored towards 3B, or rather, just BL. Not 3BL. Uh, although they are on the BL side this time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, let's see what they have in the tank. Maybe they can just push forward and take the win, or will GV make the stop? Well, they are holding a nice angle here. Snox 
is holding this nicely. We saw this yesterday um, where one would take one side, one would take another. I can't remember which team it was, but Snox trying to hold it all on his own. Doesn't have that kill zone that he desperately needed to make the most of that situation. As 3BL easily steamroll towards the GR base. And uh, it, just the defense collapsed. But they didn't lose anyone, which is good news on the side of GV. Yeah, just kind of retreated, uh, holding more passive angles, and kind of felt the pressure. Nobody gets picked off, nobody takes too much damage, stops with a free. Okay, well, right as I say, that penguin's going to make quick work of the GV sniper. Yeah. Get him through the box. It's uh, suddenly five versus four, and 3BL, they now have time to reset, but there's only 20 seconds. So whatever they choose now, they have to commit to. The C4 looks as though it's going up through double pillars, which means that Seven and Creeds are going to have a lot of defensive work to do. But they're looking at the other door. They don't see Horus come in here, and he might just get it done. Seven does get Penguin. Horus is down and around the machines. Is he going to plant the C4? He does. Seven and Creeds, they get some big kills here. It's three. Versus three, but Creed's goes down. Alucard picks up a great snipe from the back. And there's 25 seconds remaining. Yeah, this is one of those angles. You're trying to retake this through smoke with the sniper that's looking through the window at exactly where you're coming through. And they don't even need him. Thompson just going to spray them down through the smoke. And all of a sudden, it is eight to six with 3BL in total control. GV, they need a stop now. They need this round or else uh, I can't see them taking this map down. No, absolutely not. Being leading to win that many in a row, but seven goes down far too easily to Horus as Snox takes him out, but Alucard takes out Awesome on the other side. So that is a four against three, but Alucard is very, very low. Penguin also the sniper this time round trying to do what he can but Hunt gets phase and it's two against four and it's all going wrong for GV Snox does poke around the corner and he goes down to Hunt as well and Creed is the last man standing he needs to one before this Penguin is in the window he's going to be able to get him down no Penguin with the pistol gets the win and now they are touching a set one victory Pretty huge uh, stop there from Hunt to disallow any kind of rotation to come in. And 3BL, great read as a team. All that fighting in the double pillars, they just immediately have their scouts pushing forward. They say, hey, he's open. And they just take that half of the map. And there wasn't much that GV could do in terms of rotating over to, to stop any kind of play over there. Down members. And now, with their backs against the wall, 3BL looking to take a quick map one victory. This time, Penguin, again, with the sniper, is just holding that watchtower. So they are going two snipes on the side of 3BL because there are a lot of long, nice angles on this map that snipers can definitely exploit. This horse giving away maybe a little bit of his position to seven. He's looking at the window, looking through the smoke, making sure no one's coming in. Seven just chilling right now. GV, they have it all to do. The pressure is on. Remember, they need to win as much as possible. That's a grenade kill already on to seven, it looks like, but maybe a little issue. As, uh, doesn't look like Horus is too happy, but some smiles as well on those guys. <laughs> they know the situation. They know they're, they're in total control uh, of yep. this one. So, you know, going very even in the first half, and then they get onto BL side and win five in a row. So it's yeah. just all 3BL all the way here, essentially. Yeah, 3BL are definitely in the end game of this map. I think they're ready to close it out and to explore Black Widow. Oh, okay. Yeah. A little expedition. I mean, going there, I think 3BL might have the advantage on that map as well. GV are definitely on the uh, the precipice of falling out of this tournament. Yeah, right? it, it's hard to say. I mean, it's some teams with their backs against the wall. We saw Unites, you know, just barely able to claw it back on Mexico yeah. and then eventually fall. But maybe something will, some kind of fire will get started in GV. They're like, we're better than this. I can't believe we're losing again. Like, let's get it going for map two, and maybe they can kind of like rally back. 
on Black Widow, which is a very strong map for them. But yeah, 3BL are playing great. Yep. They are currently definitely looking like the better team, I would say. They're certainly in total control. So, you know, maybe they can just push on through that. Looks like Alucard's kind of getting warmed up, right? Penguin's having a great series, which is not always required yep. for 3BL as the IGL himself. Um, so everything, everybody's firing on all cylinders, and I'm very excited to see what happens in map two. Also, what happens here if it even does finish off with the win, as GV are not out of it just yet. Yeah, they do have to win three in a row, which they have not yet managed to do. Mm. Um, the most they got was two. So they won game two and three, five and six, and eight and nine in the rounds in the first half, but they haven't managed to string anything together in this second half. They got the first one. Well, they did win map 10. Yeah, they won round 10. Round 10, but then, yeah. Three BL. So they got eight, nine, and then 10. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's three It kind of counts. It like has the half yeah. in the middle. It's like, uh. Yeah, there was a little bit of a break when they swapped yeah. sides, but they do need to do it again then. They True. need to get that three in a row. It's not going to be easy. If they stand a chance, and I think we're going back to the map, and here we go. This could be the final round on this map. Let's see how it goes. Horus going to push in through double pillars again. You can see that GV are not really challenging him anymore. So, uh, you know, this is a strategy you can go for. Even if you're you're not on the back foot, it does look like GV just wants to wait and see what 3BL are going to do. Maybe get some pickoffs. Try not to get picked off themselves being overly aggressive as they have, I feel like, you know, two or three times already in this map. So just trying to go back to basics. Well, Alucard does have that line of vision from double pillars. Penguin is up in the tower. And again, it is that double sniper uh, strategy on the side of 3BL's Blacklist side. It's brought them uh, quite a few victories already. And do GV have an answer? Do they have a response? Seven is down in the pit, just throwing and cooking grenades. But he's going to run out eventually. He's just sitting on a frag left over. Just rotating through his guns. Who's going to make the first move? Both these teams now playing very statically, just waiting this out. There's 50 seconds remaining. The C4 needs to get planted relatively soon. He's going to go on and pushing in now. The grenades are coming out. Alucard dancing around. Penguin joining in that watchtower. See how it goes as 3BL just going to push on through. They take down one. And Faze also going to be taken down as Reeves trying to make a stop. But that is going to do it as Blacklist will win. And 3BL will take down the first map of Compound just like that. Yeah, and that's kind of exactly what they needed in this 3BL start.